Hello and welcome to another Somerset Radio Review. I do apologise for the lighting, it's 5 o'clock on a October, it's not even October the 31st yet, and um, <clears throat> it's uh, it's just getting so dark now in the afternoons, um, but I've got some lights on, so anyway, um, I've got here, um, what am I doing, I've got here a really good beer, well I've been told it's a really good beer, from the Bristol Beer Factory, now I love this brewery, um, they haven't done a bad thing as far as I'm concerned, it's their Imperial Stout. Um, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm not overly keen on imperial stouts. I haven't had many of them. I, I, I do. Hopefully, you can read that. I'm trying to get it so you can read what's on the back of the bottle. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I do like Imperial Stouts, um, but I haven't had many of them, so I've had some good ones and some bad ones. Um, uh, but I do love uh, normal Stouts, you know, or original Stouts. Um, but anyway, uh, this one is from um, Fred at West Country Ales, westcountryales.co.uk. Uh, be sure to visit uh, their shop, or um, if you can't get there, go online. <coughs> and um, buy some beer because um, they've really got some fantastic beers from the West Country and uh, I think it's sort of branching out now and getting a few more um, for further afield. Uh, but anyway, let's, um, oh, what's the, um, oh it's 8.5% ABV, I thought it was higher than that. Uh, anyway, 8.5% ABV, 330ml bottle, let's crack it open, brown bottle by the way if you want to. It was a gold crown, it's rolled off on the floor down there and I can't be bold to pick it up, so you just have to take my word for it, plain gold crown. I've got the dirtiest glass in the world. Oh well, that might add to the flavour. It's filthy, I can't believe that. Anyway, uh, just have to ignore that dirty glass. Wow. Don't think this is going to have a head on it. So, oh, it is bottle conditioned. I'm pouring it all in. I don't mind the sediment. If you don't like the sediment, oh, there's some left in the bottom of the bottle there. I don't know whether you're even going to be able to see that. Um, if you don't like the sediment, it sort of adds a sort of chalky texture to it. Um, don't pour the last sort of 10 mil in. Um, but it doesn't bother me, it won't hurt you. Right, well, that is pitch black. I can't actually, I've got the light right behind the camera and I cannot see any light at all through that beer. It's absolutely jet black. Um, fantastic, you can just see some of the sort of hot oils floating on the top. No bubbles at all in there whatsoever, no head. Uh, can't see any carbonation in there. Although, there's a few bubbles popping on the surface but very, very hard to see. Uh, anyway, let's get the nose in. Ah, now you're talking. No, that smells gorgeous. You've got that lovely, real rich sort of um, coffee, chocolate, malty sort of um, flavour. Roasted or roasted malt. Roasted or toasted, I do find it very hard to tell the difference. I think I think they roast them. I don't. I don't really don't know. God, it's leaving a film on the glass. It's so thick this beer is. You're not. I don't think you're going to catch that on the camera. But when I shake the beer, you can see the beer leaving a film on the on the side of the glass. You're getting sort of real rich, deep forest fruit aroma from that. But you are still getting a bit. I'm still getting a bit of fresh freshness on there. I can definitely get some alcohol in there as well. Definitely, but that smells absolutely fantastic. I'm going to dig into this. Cheers, everyone. Oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Wow. Wow. 
the alcohol hits you massively in this. You have got that sort of thick mouth feel, thick body mouth feel, licorice sort of flavour you tend, or well, I've tend, I've tend to found you get with these imperial stouts. Um, but there's still some of that really nice sort of bitter chocolate, rich coffee sort of notes you get getting it, which I love in a stout. You know. Despite the fact that this is 8.5%, it's actually going down quite easily, which is dangerous. But, you know, you know it's 8.5%, or oh, I know it's 8.5% written on the bottle. If someone just gave it to you and said, here you are, drink this, you might knock it back. That's a very pleasant, very, very pleasant Imperial Stout. I think that's the best one so far. Um, I have got quite a few of these Imperial Stouts to uh, review, but I, I keep delaying them because of the power of them. I can't just nip, pop a pint, you know, a, a bottle of, or a pint of um, Imperial Stout down because they're just too damn powerful and I can't do anything afterwards, so... <coughs> um, I had to pick my time really, so I keep them quite a while. Um, but um, yeah, this I think um, is one of the best so far. Or the best so far. I just really like the coffee, you can really get the coffee notes on it, and the coffee taste, and I love that in, in a stout. I think that's the whole. To me, that a stout isn't a stout without the good coffee and chocolate malt flavoured roastiness. We can see how easy that's going down. Um, I think I reviewed the Sam Smith's Imperial Stout yesterday, and I gave that a six out of ten. It wasn't. It was nice, but I wasn't that impressed with it. I wasn't blown away with it. Um, this, I do vote. I really like it. But I do prefer their milk stout, um, and I think they do a lot of other stouts. Um, <clears throat> but I'm still going to give it. I'm still going to give it a seven out of ten. Um, it's not a bad beer. I just think I just think that the, the imperial stouts aren't really my sort of thing. Um, although I have got quite a few of them to drink. But if you like Imperial Stouts, I think this is a good one. It's really worth trying. Um, I don't think it's one I'd buy again, but <clears throat> I think um, it, is, it is definitely a good beer. It's just perhaps a little bit too rich for my palate, maybe. Um, I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, 7 out of 10, just from me, personal score. Bristol uh, Beer Factory Imperial Stout. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, thanks to Fred at West Country Ales. And uh, I hope you join me again soon uh, for another review. Cheers.